Alright Fuggles, welcome back man. It has been a long, long time since I made a video. It's not been that long since I uploaded a video, but since I actually recorded a video, it's been a very long time. It's probably been way over a month if I'm being honest, and it does feel weird. It kind of feels weird as fuck actually. Now, FIFA have introduced a new World Cup mode for the FIFA Russia World Cup 2018. And to be honest, it's really not that good. I had plans on doing a World Cup series, it was going to be an Ultimate Team series and uh, truthfully I was going to actually make it like a sticker book series. I purchased about 20 packets of the the uh, World Cup stickers and I was planning on having 8, eight teams. Um, the teams were going to be based on the actual groups of the World Cup, so Group A was going to have the 4 teams of Group A and uh, based on how I performed in the games, basically I was going to open packs and whoever we got was going to go into those teams. So um, a team A would be made up of players from Russia, Saudi Arabia and the other two teams that are in Group A, each up in Uruguay and, then, and so on and so on and so on. And then once we got up to like Division 6, we were going to um, go from the group stage to the last 16. And for example, if the first game in the last 16 was say Russia versus England, then I'd be using a team made up of just Russian and English players. And we were going to do all that, obviously, until you get to the final, which would be Division 1. And then Division 1 would just be a team made up of just whatever two teams made the final. And obviously, I'd be able to choose the players that I, impact, I packed during the entire way to the final of the series. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen because, first of all, They've done away with divisions in this new mode. There is no divisions. It's just basically a World Cup tournament. So you've got a maximum of seven games. That's the most you can play. It's you can't really do a series based on seven games, especially that considering that's the maximum. You might only play three if you don't go to the group stage. So I mean, plus you can't assemble. You know what I mean? If you're starting with a, a basically, if you're starting with like a team from scratch, you can't really assemble a good team within seven games, it's just not really possible, it would not be fun and secondly I can't do that anyway because there is no transfer market in this new FIFA World Cup um, mode, you can only gain players through packs which is no surprise because we all know EA are greedy bastards and it's no surprise that they want you to spend FIFA points so you can open packs, so that pretty much leaves me shafted. So what I am going to do in this video guys, basically, we're almost 3 minutes in, I haven't even told you what we're doing here. I'm just going to simulate the entire World Cup, and we're going to see who wins it. So this is basically a FIFA 18 predictions uh, video. So there you go man. Uh, unfortunately, I can't be doing the series I wanted to do, but I do have Maradona in my Ultimate Team Club. So what I was thinking about doing is a Maradona Ultimate Team series. The Hand of God series where we'll be starting from Division 10, we'll try and get up to Division 1 and we'll use the clubs that Maradona has played for and that'll just be players from Napoli, um, Boca Juniors I believe he played for, Barcelona and um, there's someone else that I am missing out that I just can't think of but yeah we're only going to use players from the clubs that Maradona played for but enough about that, let's get into this World Cup, we're going to go ahead and sim it. So let's sim the first match, Russia against Saudi Arabia. be interesting to see who wins this one. You'd like to think Russia would win, home advantage, and they do win. A 1-0 victory for them, Smolov getting the goal in the 12th minute. And you can see they're updating the table, that puts Russia top of uh, Group A. So I guess that looks pretty cool. Moving on to the second match of the competition, it'll be Egypt against Uruguay. Uh, basically for all these group games, I'm just going to sim at the beginning, I'm going to skip the simulation. Maybe when we get to the last few games, I'll let the whole, you know, thing tick out. And in the second game, it's Egypt 1, Uruguay 1. Um, probably the two best teams in the group, if we're being honest. I expect that it'll be either Egypt or Uruguay. Probably Uruguay get top spot in that group, but you never know. As long as it's not Saudi Arabia, I can accept that. Right, match number 3, Morocco against Iran. I'll go for Morocco win here, and it's a draw, so there you go. Uh, group B, um, it's going to be pretty hard for either Morocco or Iran to get out of this. But at the same time, I think they're capable of you know causing the upset and beating Spain or Portugal. Definitely uh, Portugal, Portugal not that good if we're being honest. And um, well, they always have, they've got Ronaldo like, so I guess uh, 
you know, he, he's always a penalty away from scoring. Uh, so there we go. And it's another draw as Tim Cafalio getting sent off. Been a lot of draws in this World Cup so far. And then you go that Group B is all to play for. Every team currently on a point after the first game, right? France against Australia next. Uh, I would expect a, a win for France. And a, a comes to win in the end. 3 0. Goals for Dembele, Kante, and Sebedi. And then you see uh, a group, man. It's a game that you'd expect France to win it for second place. Could see either of those three getting it. Argentina against Iceland. I'd like to see Iceland go far. Did amazing in the Euros. Can they do ama Can they do well again in the World Cup? Uh, well, they didn't go off to a good start, but two goals for Di Maria condemns Iceland to defeat. But it's early days. They can still they can still progress. But again, uh, not the easiest of group there for Iceland. It's going to be hard for them to get. They're going to need at least four points against Croatia and at Nigeria. And you can see the uh, top two goal scorers in the competition so far are Ronaldo and uh, Di Maria. Right. Peru against Denmark. You know, well since Peru were in the World Cups and they've got off to a good start there. Goals for Farfan and Flores, giving them 2-0 win over Denmark. Right, Croatia against Nigeria now. Nigeria had not been that good in the last, you know, like, I don't know, decade or whatever, but I was just going to say, I think their team has improved a wee bit lately, but holy shit. Obviously not. 4 0 win for Croatia. Fantastic. And that is enough to send the Croats to the top of Group D. Will it play it like this in real life? It could do. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll cost streak against Serbia. 1 0 win for Serbia. All two teams in this group are Brazil and Switzerland. Should be an interesting game, could go either way. Um, same could be said about this game, to be honest. I don't think this is the strongest team Germany have had. Probably the weakest they've had in a while. It's strong enough though to beat Mexico 2-1. And that will meanwhile put Germany at top of Group F. Right, Brazil against Switzerland. Now Switzerland, decent team they're taking to the Euros, uh, Euros World Cup. I think they'll get out of their group, uh, but they're going to have their work cut out against them as they've just lost to Brazil 2-1, so Switzerland will need good results against Serbia and Costa Rica if they are to advance to the next stage. But Sweden now against South Korea, um, apparently Ibrahimovic is not coming back for this tournament. I don't think it would have been right for him to walk straight into the team, no no draw, but at the same time, it's kind of sad not to see him there. Slatan is great. And um, matches would be <laughs> a lot more special, obviously, if he was in them. But uh, we're just going to have to settle for a slatan World Cup, I guess. Uh, Belgium with a 2 0 win over Panama. And uh, next game up will be Tunisia against England. Tunisia are actually not that bad. They could give England problems. We're about to see. What will happen in England? Just getting the win there with a Delhi Alley goal, giving them a 1 0 victory, and that is enough to take England into second place in Group G. And you've got Colombia now against Japan, last group. Three one one for Colombia, Cuadrado and Rodriguez getting the goals. Colombia, a decent team. How far can they go in the World Cup remains to be seen. I would expect them to get out of their group. Whether they'll go much further than that, I don't quite know. Uh, Poland, always dangerous. Got a pretty solid team. I think Poland could do well. I would expect them to at least make the last 16. And yeah, they've picked up a 2-0 win against Senegal there. So pretty good there. Lewandowski though and Milik. Deadly front two, pretty quiet so far. So they go Poland now, will go, t no, not top, but they'll go second. And, and I expect Poland and Colombia to go to that. Right, so we're back into the uh, second round of games here. This time it's Russia against Egypt. And Russia have lost 2 1. So, um, yeah, they can see now Russia still in second place, but obviously played two games. 
Portugal against Morocco and apparently I'm going to have to fix a player. I don't want to do that so I will let... I don't have any involvement in this so I will just... I'll let the game auto-change it and then I'll let the game commence and see what happens. 1-1 one, one draw, so Morocco there. And it got a chance, they do have a chance of both Morocco and Portugal. Two points after two games, it's going to come down to the final day, final match fixture to see who goes to that group. We've got Uruguay now against Saudi Arabia. Beginning to lose my voice, guys. It's because I honestly haven't made a video in ages. It's, been, it's probably more than a month. And I'm just not used to talking as much. And uh, yeah, my voice is kind of going. So if you're wondering why I'm kind of you know, talking weird or not really finishing my sentences, yeah, it's because my fucking throat's drying up, man. And it's, it's warm as well. Anyway, Uruguay beating Saudi Arabia. Nice to count on Uruguay. That means Saudi Arabia now are officially eliminated for the World Cup. And I can at least smile because, uh, yeah, man, if there's some justice in the world, it's Saudi Arabia is not going to win the World Cup. So happy days. Next up, Iran against Spain. Spain with a win. And that should be enough to see them through to the next round of the competition. With Denmark now against Australia. Both teams in need of a win. And it's Denmark with a win, so I'd say with that, I'd expect Australia to be eliminated. Um, I don't think, technically, I don't think they are. I think they've still got a chance of going through, but unless it's a draw in this match, then they are eliminated. But they need, as far as I'm aware, Australia need France to beat Peru to have any chance of going through. And France have done that 4 0, so. Australia, like, it's not looking good for them, but at least they've got a chance going into the last game that they can still get out of that group. Right, Croatia against Argentina. There we go. It's going to be a... I think, I think Croatia could steal this. And they did steal it 1-0 with Perisic goal. So Croatia with six points now from the two first two games. And that is the um, guaranteed... Well, not guaranteed, but they'd be extremely unlucky now if they did not go through to the last 16. Got... Costa Rica against Brazil. Could be a tight game. Well, uh, obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> Polinho in two goals for Coutinho and Jesus. Gave Brazil a convincing 5-0 win. And that is the biggest win of this competition so far. Brazil now, after two games played, seven goals scored, only one conceded. Definitely, they look like the form team so far. Uh, Nigeria against Iceland. Both teams really need a win here. Or at least Iceland need a win, if I can remember the um, standings. I think Iceland need it. No, both of them really need it. They were both on zero points. And that that draw just about keeps both of them in with a chance. But, you know, it's not looking good. Looks like it's going to be Croatia and Argentina who go through in that group. That draw does mean that Croatia are guaranteed to go through. Now, Serbia are through Switzerland. We'll see how that looks through at the top of the table. And you see uh, Switzerland will kind of need to... Hope that they can win their last game and that Brazil can do them a favour or they will not be progressing to the next stage. Right, Belgium against Tunisia. 4-0 win for Belgium. Looking comfortable, looking good, looking like they are going to be in the next round for sure. Six goals scored and zero conceded. Up next, it's going to be Croatia against Mexico. 2-2 draw. And Mexico uh, now really still bottom after two games. It's not looking good for Mexico. Looks like Donald Trump has built the wall and they will not be crossing it. Right, Germany against Sweden. Germany with a 2-0 win. Injury to Boateng though. Could maybe cause them problems for further going to competition. But at the moment Germany are qualified for the next round. Right, England against Panama. You'd expect England to win this comfortably, wouldn't you? And they have, really, Jones, Henderson and Ali. And I'm looking at that England team, and holy fuck, it must be one of the worst England teams I've seen. Probably, I'd, I say probably, I mean, it's, it has to be undoubtedly the worst English team of my lifetime. I mean, it's just, it's just awful looking. And I'll, I'll be surprised if they go any further than, um, you know, the last 16. I do think they've got a pretty favourable group, so I think they'll get out of that. But whether they'll go any further than that, I honestly don't believe so. Senegal just beat Japan. Uh, that looks like that's going to condemn Japan to elimination. 
we'll have to wait and see. Poland now against Colombia, a draw here, and Senegal are out of the World Cup. No, Japan are out of the World Cup. Uh, it's not, it's, I don't really shit if that would have been a lot closer than that. 3 0 win for Poland, and maybe Poland could be the dark horses in this competition, and that should be enough to see them safely through now to the next round. Right, we're now into the last group games here. And we were going to see which 16 teams will qualify for the knockout stages and which 16 teams will be going home. Starting with Saudi Arabia and Egypt, this game is meaningless for Saudi Arabia. I believe they can still finish third. They can't qualify though. And they've lost. So Saudi Arabia are losing all three games of the World Cup. There is a God and he is um, he is Jesus Christ and he is definitely not Allah. So there you go man. Egypt beating Saudi Arabia. Fantastic stuff there indeed. And that takes Egypt through on seven points and they will be in the next round. Whether they win the group or not, it kind of depends here between Uruguay and Russia. If Uruguay can be defeat Russia, they have a chance of going through as group winners. But they only need a draw to secure passage into the next round. But they've got the win, so there you go. Uruguay, will it be enough to take them above Egypt? Um, It's not. So both teams are finishing on the exact same goal difference. But it looks like it's going to be Egypt that win the group. Why? I'm not sure, but I'm not who are we to complain. Right, Spain there against Morocco. It's looking good for Spain to go through. I think they only need a draw. And they've ended up winning 3 1. So Spain now comfortably into the next round. Taking 7 points from their possible 9, and they cannot be caught. Spain will be going through, and it's going to be a shootout basically between Iran and Portugal. Portugal just need the draw to get into the next round. Iran need the win. And it's a draw. So there you go. Portugal, kind of similar to the Euros where they got through on three draws. Again, they've drawn three games in this group stage. And it's been enough to get them through. So there you go. Just about do it. And uh, yeah. Denmark against France next. France have been great so far. I don't think they've conceded a goal. And if one again, 2-0 without conceding. And that will be the end definitely through to the next round. There you go, man. Nine goals scored. Nothing conceded. France definitely looked like they could win this year's World Cup. Solid team indeed. I do actually think they have a really good chance of winning the World Cup in real life. Whether I'll be betting them or not, I don't know. Um I probably would give them I'd give them the nod above Germany. I think they're probably the form team going into this World Cup. So it will be interesting to see how they get on. And Peru beat Australia 3 now. Australia have really been shocking. And they will exit the competition without scoring any points, without even scoring a goal. That's a joke. Absolute joke, man. So there you go. It's Peru and France getting into the next round, right? Iceland against Croatia. Croatia already through. I think Iceland have been eliminated. Uh, well, they're definitely eliminated now. That 2 0 confirms that. And Croatia picking up 9 points from. They're three games, which is good for them. And now heading into the next game, it leaves Nigeria needing a win against Argentina. Argentina, while well advanced with the draw, but they get the win. Moses missing a penalty for Nigeria. Could have maybe got them back in the game, could have changed things, but we'll never know because he didn't score it. And they go Argentina now with six points. Uh, they only conceded one goal, and it was to Croatia, and it was enough to... Uh, Condemn them to a defeat, right? Croatia against Germany up next. 2 2 draw. Be interesting. Is that enough to get Korea through? It might be. We need to check what kind of position Korea were in. Yeah, they're currently in second. Just like Portugal, they've drawn all three games, but it means for Korea to go through, they are relying on a draw between Mexico and Sweden. And. A draw between Mexico and Sweden will send both teams out. So, But if either team wins, they go through. So this is a game you would not expect to end in a draw. Uh, neither of these teams will be playing for a draw. And how funny would it be if they ended up actually drawing? And they haven't drew. It's been Sweden that go through with the goal from Olsen. And there you go, man. A Sweden, a slatinless Sweden, uh, a slatinless Sweden have progressed to the next round of the World Cup. Right, but Serbia against Brazil. Serbia only needing a draw. Brazil already through. And Brazil confirmed their uh, group winner status with goals from Augusto and Willian. 
and then that means Switzerland will need to beat Costa Rica to go through. Costa Rica already eliminated. So can Switzerland knock out Serbia here? They can. A 3-1 a win. And Switzerland will move into second place and take Serbia's spot in the next round. Which, uh, yeah, it's kind of harsh. You get four points. It's, normally that's enough to get you through. On this occasion, it is not. Right, Japan against Poland. Japan already eliminated. Poland's looking strong, looking good. And it's another 1-0 win. Slinski getting the goal. Again, Poland, another one of those teams that have uh, won all their games and haven't conceded a goal yet. So, Poland, Croatia and um, France have been fantastic so far. Senegal against Colombia. Winner goes through to join Poland in the next round. And it's Colombia. So, Columbia there managing to get into the next round of the World Cup. And I believe that was the last group. No, we've got a couple more group. Yeah, so this is the last group. So England and Belgium both through. Just to matter who's going to top the group. And this could matter a lot depending on who they will be getting in the next round. And it's a draw. I believe Belgium had the slightly better goal difference. Goals from Rashford, Sterling, Hazard and Lekiaku. So I think that's going to be, yeah, Belgium, there you go. Both Belgium and England then undefeated in their group stage of the World Cup. And then the last game, Panama against Tunisia. This is basically just for bragging rights to see who is going to not finish last. And it's a draw, so at least both teams pick up a point. But uh, it's not a World Cup to remember, especially for Tunisia. Panama though, at least they uh, managed to qualify. And they did pick up a point, so not the worst, uh, not the worst tournament for them. So as we head into the knockout stage, let's have a look at what the games are going to be. We're going to have Egypt against Portugal, France against Argentina, Brazil against Sweden, Belgium against Colombia, Spain against Uruguay, Croatia against Peru, Germany against Switzerland, and England against Poland. So some good games there. I'll give my predictions as we're going along. France against Argentina. I'm going to go with France. And um, I didn't want to play it for some reason. It's just decided I want to play it when I really don't. Right, so here we go. France against Argentina. I mean, both teams are very capable. It'll be interesting to see how this one goes. And it goes to France. I predicted France and I was right. France still yet to concede in this year's World Cup. And they have advanced now into the quarterfinals where they will meet the winner of Egypt against Portugal. Things are looking good for the French. Uh, Egypt against Portugal. I'm going to go Portugal. I think they've just got enough to defeat Egypt. And I was wrong. So Portugal exiting the competition in the last 16 without winning a game. Big Pinaldo not really doing much, was he? So it'll be Egypt taking on France. And uh, yeah, it should be a tasty quarter final, but I, I do expect France to get uh, advanced into the semis. Right, Spain against Uruguay. Another good game. So much attacking talent on display here. I think Spain are going to go through though. And they do go through 2 0 with goals from Rodrigo and Gerard Piquet. And that means Spain will be playing the winners of Peru against Croatia, who I'd expect to be Croatia. Croatia, yet to concede in this tournament, have been playing really well. Of one every game they've participated in so far, and uh, yeah, they've won again 3 1, conceding their first goal of the competition thanks to Ramos. But they won't really care about that. They're into the next round, they will face Spain in the quarter finals. I think all my predictions have been alright so far, and uh, apart from Portugal, got that one wrong. But uh, man, I'm three, I'm three or four so far. Brazil against Sweden, I'm going to go Brazil. And Brazil comfortably won 3 0. Augusto has been scoring a lot of goals so far this tournament. He must be up there for top goal scorer, surely. We will have to check that. Yeah, yes, he's got four goals. Only Perisic and Griezmann at the moment have more. Well, Belgium against Colombia. I'm going to go Belgium. I think they have the better form. Although they did have an easier group, so it's hard to tell. But no, Belgium have won. So they go 2 0 win, knocking Colombia out. Belgium into the quarters. And I've now got five predictions out of six correct. I'm going pretty well so far here in this knockout stage. 
and that means Belgium will be playing Brazil next round. That's going to be a very difficult game. That's going to be hard for me to predict that one. Right, Germany against Switzerland. I'm going to go with Germany. Switzerland haven't been that impressive. And Germany have defeated them goals for Ferner. Getting a brace and then also. And that means there's one game left in the last 16. It's England against Portugal. And I think Portugal are going to take England here. Portugal yet to concede, I believe, in the tournament. Won every game so far. England, though, have played all right as well. 7 out of plus 9 points in the group stage, but I'm going to go Poland. And I was right, Poland, Lewandowski, 90th minute, breaking English hearts. That's what I love to see. Fantastic stuff. And um, I just noticed that England took off Harry Kane for Trippier. How defensively fucking um, poor is that? Jesus Christ, they deserve to get eliminated, I think, if you're going to be that defensive. Anyway, here we go now, we're into the quarterfinals. France against Egypt. I'm going to go France. Am I going to be right? Holy crap, I'm wrong. So, Pogba gets the goal for France, but it's not enough, and Sobi and Hassan knock out France. So, Egypt getting to the semi-finals. Didn't predict that at all. And, uh, I mean, yeah, so they're going to be... Oh, but Hassan, he's just been ruled out for six weeks. That could be a major blow for Egypt in the semis. But who will they be playing in the semis? I think it's going to be Brazil. And I'm right, yeah, Brazil. This time, Robert Firmino, 89th minute winner. There have been a few late goals in this competition so far. And there is Egypt and Brazil. They will meet in the semis. And one of those teams will be in the final of this year's World Cup. Right, we've got Germany against Poland now, always a tasty fixture. It's just like World War II all over again. I was going to predict Germany, but I thought it would be a tight game and Poland have actually beat them. So Poland advanced into the semis, or they will play either Spain or Croatia. Very interesting indeed. I think it's going to be uh, Croatia. I think Croatia is going to beat Spain. Pardon me, just burped. And I was wrong. Modric getting a goal, but Rodrigo, Alarmendi, and Ramos getting Spain through. So the last four teams, Egypt, Brazil, Spain, and Poland. Very interesting. I'm going to go Poland. I think Poland are going to do this. We'll see. Obviously, I'm not going to make any changes. I did not mean that. But yeah, I'm going to go Poland. I think Poland, the last four teams, will win. Uh, Egypt against Brazil, I think Brazil will make the final. Holy fuck, Egypt have made the final with a galley goal. Egypt are going to be in the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia final. And they will be playing either Spain or Poland. Unbelievable stuff. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Spain? The winners in the 2010 World Cup? Or is it going to be Poland who have been so far fantastic in this competition? I'm going to go Poland. I was right, Poland come through with a Solinsky penalty. And who would have predicted that? Egypt against Poland in the final. Definitely didn't think that would be the case. But before we get to that match, it's going to be Brazil against Spain in the third place playoff. I'm going to go with Brazil. I think Brazil will just take this. Oh my god, Spain won. My predictions are really turning to shite now. Can't get fuck all correct. But as long as I get the final correct, I won't be too bored. And I'm going to say in the final, it's going to be Poland beating Egypt. One goal to nil. Let's see if I'm right. Here we go. Poland against Egypt. Only one team can survive and lift the World Cup trophy. And it's Egypt. Are you shit me? Egypt getting the win. One goal to nil. Mohamed Salah. Probably form-wise the best player in the world at the moment. And he has, um, he's won the World Cup for Egypt. So it may be fitting that he gets to lift the World Cup. Maybe he deserves it at the moment. Who knows? But there you go. According to FIFA, Egypt are going to win this year's World Cup. And with that said, that is the tournament over. Top goal scorers. There was quite a lot of them. There was six people on five goals. With Mertens, Modric, Perisic, Griezmann, Rodrigo and Hassan. All joint on five goals each. Assists, Griezmann was the top assist. Clean sheets was Szczesny for Poland. Augusto and a bunch of other players, I'm not going to fill them on yellow, set two yellows. And then again, a bunch of other players on reds. 
<coughs> Christ. Very warm, guys. But there you go, man. That is it. Going to end the tournament now. And that was it. There's your simulation. There is your predictions. FIFA 18 thinks Egypt are going to win this year's World Cup. Let me know what you think down below, guys. Let me know your predictions. I'm going to go and say France. That's who I think is going to win it. I've said France for a while. And I do believe France are going to win it. Right left the trophy. Let me know who you think down below. And until next time, I'll see you later. But um, yeah, you can expect more videos, daily videos coming in thick and fast. Like I said, apologies about not being able to do this year's World Cup that I had planned. But like I said, it's not my fault. It's just FIFA. They've, they've changed, obviously, you know, the, the new mode and shit like that. So I can't do it, guys. If you have any suggestions, then let me know. I'd have loved to have done that series I had planned with the sticker book. But unfortunately, just due to this new World Cup mode and it doesn't have the uh, services available for me to do it. So there you go, guys. Till next time. Peace.